Now to tell us more, please join me in welcoming to this stage the founder of QNX and the inventor of the new BlackBerry Tablet OS, Dan Dodge. Hey Mike. Welcome Dan. So it's a real pleasure to be here. This is an incredibly exciting time. So QNX. So what is QNX? Let me start off by saying QNX is a, it's a POSIX certified operating system. What does that mean? Well, it means that it shares the same system APIs as you would find in Linux or OS X. In a world of large open source projects like WebKit, this is incredibly important to dramatically reduce the cost of porting and keeping those ports up to date. But the beauty of Kinex is more than skin deep, and POSIX in particular. Kinex is based upon a microkernel architecture, perhaps the most advanced operating system architecture in the world. We talk about multi-core, symmetrical multiprocessing. We designed that in from day one. So the playbook is shipping with you know, an incredible two gigahertz Cortex A9 CPUs. This is amazing with an operating system that is going to keep both of those CPUs just chugging and producing as much performance as possible. Kinex is actually more than just symmetrical. We also do distributed multiprocessing. Kinex as an operating system is going to enable things that you have never seen before. So today we have two cores. Kinex has been used in production today and other systems, and I'll get to that in four cores, eight cores, 16, 32. In fact, we have an architecture that is future ready and future proof. It's amazing. So many of you may not know a great deal about Kinex, but everybody here is using Kinex. In fact, a lot are using Kinex right now. Kinex is used in networking, industrial automation, it's used in medical devices that may save your life one day, it's used by the military, and it's used in automotive. So Cisco, their largest routers in the world, run Kinex. These are huge machines with hundreds of processors, and they are using our symmetrical and our distributed multi-processing today. So all these blogs, you know, and uh, you know, um, the videos you may be submitting and the podcasts, they're streaming through Kinex right now as we speak. We're not just in the energy grid, Mike. We're in the, we're in the power grid as well. So GE uses us to power turbines, well, as big as a house. But we're an incredibly scalable architecture, which is really important for a device like this. We actually run in smaller systems that control the veins of, a, of the blades of a windmill that you see spreading up all around the country. And uh, you talked about security and how important that is. Well, in the military, we have the highest level of um, um, security certifications, EAL level four plus. So this is a real enterprise ready device. Now, if we wanted to have a little bit of fun, we could go to Vegas and use Kinex. So if we went to see a show like La Rev or Phantom of the Opera, you know those stages they are moving up and down and people are flying around in wires? All precise, precision controlled, has to be right and perfect every time. Again, they use our symmetrical multiprocessing, in this case, distributed processing in real time, with 70 machines choreographing that whole thing. This sounds like a really powerful opportunity. Oh, it's, it, it's incredible. And actually, if we leave the show, we can go use the casino gaming machines. They run Kinex as well, where wow. again, security, reliability, absolutely paramount. Now, I know when we, we first met, um, we were really excited about what you were doing with cars. Yes. So we I mean, have. We, a, we, saw, we saw the car as the ultimate BlackBerry accessory. <laughs> and it is, <laughs> and it's certainly going to be. So, um, yeah, we have a huge footprint in uh, the automotive industry. So, uh, some of the most advanced infotainment and uh, um, telematic systems in the world run QNX. So, you go out and you buy cars, actually, from Audi, all Audis. BMW, Mercedes, Porsche, you know, Jaguar, um, GM OnStar, um, Nissan, Land Rover, oh, the list goes on and it's on. It's well there's, over there's, 230 oh, models. I, exactly. You know, it's hard not to buy a car with Kinex in it today. <laughs> That's great. Now, here's another thing that I think you and I both understand. This is, this is 
this is a professional operating system, right? This, this has all these features baked in, and you've been baking these things in for over a decade. This is not something you can just slap on yeah. later. Like, you can just don't slap on security. You don't just slap on multitasking or real time, right? You don't just add these things later. This has to be baked in. It's an architectural thing. The best way I've been able to describe it is you don't build a skyscraper, a skyscraper on a house foundation, right? The, the skyscraper foundation is an incredibly complex engineering marvel. And that's exactly what you've done. And that, you've given that power to the BlackBerry playbook. That's exactly true. The certifications we have would not be possible unless we had designed with an architecture that was designed to handle these sort of things. It's, you're right, it's completely baked right in. So what we have done, we have taken the experience we have gained from all these industries and all this technology, and we have focused it. And over the last year, we have been building the BlackBerry Tablet OS to embody and encompass all this. And it is going to enable a new world of computing you can hold in the palm of your hand. Dan, can you share a little bit about the... the So can you share a little bit about what this means for content and applications in the playbook? Sure. So of course we're going to support the new BlackBerry WebWorks platform. That's an absolute given. There's also work on a next generation Java VM to enable increased incredible performance and full functionality. We'll be releasing a native SDK right out of the gate. Um, and it will have full POSIX compatibility for all that portability, full OpenGL support, it's going to be an incredible gaming platform for game designers, publishers, and the players, of which I am one. So no more sh trying to shrink the web to fit on a mobile. Oh, no. We're, we're giving the mobile the full experience on the, on the playbook, aren't we? Yeah, so let, let's talk about that web experience. The full web experience. Uncompromised web experience. So the browser is going to be an absolute jewel. Of course it'll have HTML5. Of course it is going to have Flash 10.1, and it is going to be an incredibly performing Flash 10.1 with full video acceleration at every step of the way. But we don't stop with just the browser. We're also going to be providing Adobe Air for application development. So all you guys out there that are able to develop Flash applications on the web can take the same tools, the same experience and knowledge to produce incredible applications. Kinex and Adobe, we worked very closely together, and we did an integration right down to the core of both our products, enabling optimization, hardware acceleration at every step along the way. This is going to be an unforgettable experience. Dan, this is, this is incredible. The performance you've packed in this tiny ultra mobile package comes from such heritage in the Cunix operating system. And the work you've done with Adobe and the work you've done with Dual Core is just unbelievable. Look, so, thank you very much. Well done, Dan. Already. Please, please thank Dan for, for us. Thank you, Dan. And now I'd like to bring a special, a special guest on stage to talk about the opportunity for content publishers and app developers. Please join me in welcoming to the stage the CEO of Adobe Systems, Shantanu. Shantanu, it's a great pleasure to see you here again. Congratulations, Mike. That is really, truly an exciting announcement. You know, we worked with Cunix and Dan for many years. We've done some phenomenal stuff with them on cars. We've certainly worked with uh, Rim and BlackBerry, but it's really exciting to be part of this groundbreaking announcement. It's great to see all this secret work coming. I agree. I agree. I'm coming together on such an incredibly attractive device. I think it, for me, it really is all about saying, how can you get the uncompromised web that Absolutely. you really talked about? You know? And if you can couple the uncompromised web experience with everything you're doing with security and device pairing, and you know, I'm really glad that you're inviting me as well as a former geek to this geek fest, because we can't wait to see what you guys can do with you know, this kind of a device and to get applications and content. Because the reality is today that the web, when you talk about it, 
whether it's video on the web, whether it's casual gaming on the web, whether it's rich internet applications, we'd love to get the over 3 million creative professionals and Flash developers build great stuff for your platform. And that's the amazing thing. I mean, I've, I've heard it said that you can't build a, a bad looking application with, with, with Adobe tools, and I've certainly seen that. I mean, it's just amazing the kind of talented individuals that are out there that are creating great content and great applications using Adobe tool sets. So we're really excited about expanding the developer community for BlackBerry Playbook to such a large audience. We can't wait either, Mike. I mean, the reality is with the integration that you've provided and with our tools, we're really looking forward to unleashing the creativity from this community. We're certainly going to have a number of events here at your show talking about how people can use the Flash tools. Uh, we'd also like to have all of them at Max, which is our developer conference with you, to talk about how we can frankly get content and applications uh, for such a great platform. Absolutely. Well, thank you, Shantanu. We couldn't be more excited. Please thank, join me in thanking Shantanu for joining us here today. Shantanu, thank you. You want to hold it? You Do I get one of these devices? <laughs> thank you again. Soon. I know you just can't wait to see the BlackBerry Playbook for yourselves. And later on, you'll have a chance to get a first sneak peek here at DEF CON. This really is a special product that we've developed for you. This is one of the most exciting times in our history. And I want to thank all of you for sharing it with us here today. And I also hope to see all of you at Adobe, Back, Adobe Max in October for more exciting news about our partnership with Adobe. So again, thank you for coming and joining us here today. Have a great week at DevCon 2010. And thank you all very much.